Hi, I'm Tian. And that is how I get out of bed in the morning. So welcome back to another video. Uh, for those of you that are new here, my name is Tian and since November of 2022, I've been living on the road in my SUV and today thought I'd give you guys a little tour of how I have everything set up and how I make everything work. So here is my house. It's a 2018 Subaru Crosstrek Premium and everything is pretty much stock except for the additions outside. This is a Danchel outdoor awning system. I primarily bought it for shade in the summer. Uh, it's winter now so it doesn't get a whole lot of use because I welcome the sun. And this is the roof box uh, that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's relatively cheaper than the Thule but it works for what I need it for. And I'll give you guys a look at what's inside. All right, so let's start from the left. This is my laundry bag. I keep it up here because I don't want it to stink up the car. Uh, this is some propane for my backpacking stove. Uh, I think there's also a toolbox in here. Tide laundry. Uh, I have a pair of dress shoes and underneath there, there's also a pair of Toms that I don't really wear anymore. In this duffel bag, I have the headrest for the back seat of my car and then some army memorabilia that I don't want to get rid of just yet. Like here, I think it's just a bunch of cables. Um, for my various electronics. Uh, this is a bag of extra toiletries, soap, shampoo, baby wipes, etc. Um, then I have my hiking backpack uh, underneath, some more cables, uh, my rice cooker. Uh, that's a 12 volt, it's pretty cool. Um, a little mess kit and some extra plates. Uh, I think these are sunglasses or eye pro. Um, both of my hiking shoes. Uh, they're both ultra lone peaks and they are the most comfortable hiking shoes, trail shoes that I have ever worn in my life. Huge fan. Uh, I also have a hammock. Um, extra propane. And then this is a couple of suits that I didn't want to get rid of just in case, you know, my friends get married or I need to dress up for a special occasion. Then I have one hiking pole because my other one was stolen a while ago. And that's pretty much it up here. Let's go over to the driver's seat. Uh, in here, I have pen, uh, tweezers, chapstick, floss, lotion, hand sanitizer, uh, and gum. Here is where I keep my weather tech reflectix for when I want privacy in my car. And this is the driver's side window. 
I also have my axe that's just there in case I need to chop firewood or whatnot. And then I have my water shoes right there. Up here, I have a utility knife. Uh, let's see here. Stay Gray Falcons. It's uh, one of the gifts I got when I re-enlisted for the first time. Um, I have a Gold Zero Crush Light Chroma light that's also able to be recharged via solar, so it just sits up here. Um, I have a planter up here for no other reasons than to store rocks that I find. Uh, down here, sunglasses, some coconut butter biscuits. Uh, toilet paper goes here. Uh, lotion, again, because I cannot be ashy in public. And then I have my neat little NSA secret squirrel water jug thing. And that's pretty much it for the front seat. Now let's go over to the passenger side. Uh, on top, I have jacket I'm currently wearing. I have a beanie. Uh, caffeine and kilos. Go support them. Um, my gym bag. And it also has my toiletries on the inside because I shower at the gym. Uh, and then I have another backpack up here. Houses my laptop stays there. Uh, down here I have a ukulele that a friend of mine gave me before he left uh, or before he PCS to another duty station. Back in Maryland I have my tripod. Uh, uh, air freshener. Um, boots that I'm currently wearing my target brand burks because i am balling on a budget um i also have this dumbbell set thing that goes up to 55 pounds so if i'm not anywhere near a gym i can work out i haven't actually used this yet but i think it will come in handy during the summers when i'm more off grid um, down here i have a hand vacuum because I try to keep things as clean as possible, especially in the desert. I will have a USB desk fan for the summers. Um, it doesn't get a whole lot of use right now because it's cold at night, but that will be used in the summer when I am dying in the heat. All right, so here is the passenger reflectix for the windows. Um, I store my hats down there. And then I also have headbands and stuff for when I need it, if I need it. Here I have a cold weather faux fur hat. And then underneath is a little fleece neck thing, just in case it gets really cold. I haven't used it yet, but we'll see. Uh, in the consoles, I have bear spray, a pair of gloves, I almost forgot. In the actual glove box, I have ibuprofen. And then I have some wash rags in here as well. Now let's take a look at the passenger rear seat. Here I have screens for my windows for when I need airflow into the car and I don't want bugs to get in. I have sunblock, uh, base camp body wash and shampoo. Um, and I have this thing to where if you hook up, it's gonna this one hand. So it kind of creates like a little step thing in case I want to get up there and really look inside but I don't really use this, but it's just nice to have. So underneath here, I have my solar panels. Uh, they're by Jackery. Um, I have two of them and they're 100 watts. So on like a very sunny day in the desert, I pull about 130 watts of power, which I think is pretty great. Um, 
there's some degradation to the cables because I have an extension attached to them. Here I have an outdoor patio mat. Uh, this doesn't get a whole lot of use because I don't generally stay at a campsite for uh, like multiple days. I mean, I do, but I still move my car every now and then and I have to pack it up, so it's kind of a pain. Um, and then this is my Jackery 1000. I use it to pretty much power my electronics and everything that I need. Um, it also powers my fridge, which is on the other side, and I will show you that next. All right, so let's start over here. Uh, this is a trunk carrier. Um, I use it to store all of my clothes, or at least most of it. And oh, this is also where I store a few other things. This is like a face towel, an extra charging cord, um, camp suds, sponge, another spatula. I also have another knife there. And then a microplane. Don't know why I have it, but I didn't want to get rid of it. Uh, but yeah. This is my seasonings bag. It also doubles as where all of my um, cutlery goes, or at least the ones that I'm using currently. Uh, and it has everything or all the essentials that an Asian person needs. So I have some red boat fish sauce, uh, fried red onions, salt, pepper, furikake for eggs in the morning. If you haven't tried that, you're missing out. Some MSG in a mason jar, the cooking oil, Maggi seasoning, because I like this a lot better than soy sauce. Um, some spicy chili crisps, because why not? Uh, Johnny seasoning salt, that's native, native. That is uh, made out of Washington, I think. Um, it's really good for fruit and stuff. And then sugar, because Asian cooking requires sugar. All right, uh, here is my camp stove. It's a double burner. Uh, underneath, I have, I'm sure my bananas, uh, the pan that I'm currently using. I also have a pot back here for boiling water, extension cord. For, again, all of my electronics. It's just easier this way. Uh, and then this is my fridge. It is a Alpacool. I think it's 22 or 24 quarts. I'm not sure. But it's enough to last like a week of food. And I don't have to go to the grocery store all that often. So if I'm off grid, I don't need to re-up supplies or anything like that. Um, between there, I have... Two of these little collapsible uh, buckets slash sink. So if I need to wash my dishes, that's what they're in there for. Um, I also have Kodiak protein pancake mix because why not? I also got these little uh, hooks that go onto your headrests from Amazon just to hang my... Uh, mandarins because you can't have enough vitamin C because I do not want to get sick out on the road. All right, and now we are going to look at the trunk. Um, first off, though, if you own a Subaru, they draw power from the trunk, so I just use a carabiner to do that and it tricks the car into thinking everything is closed because I have been stranded before in the middle of nowhere with no cell service because I left this shit open all night while I was sleeping. First, this is a compost bin. It's where I store all of my trash. Um, it's good enough for one person and I just uh, dump the trash every few days. Uh, let's start with up here. This is my pretty much my supplement box. Um, I have a book that I'm currently reading, Starless Sea. Uh, I also have a LED or a magnetic LED 
light for when I need light at night. It's actually really helpful. It sticks up like that. And yeah. This was actually left under my hood when I when I got my um, oil changed. I checked under the hood and that was still there. Okay, so I have vital protein collagen peptides uh, for my coffee in the morning or in the afternoon, whatever. Um, pretty much essential supplements, vitamin C because I don't want to get sick. Melatonin and allergy medication. Ugh. And lactose taste enzyme because I don't want to be tootin' and bootin' um, when I have dairy. Uh, fiber supplements, coconut oil, uh, let's see here, creatine, and pre-workout, total war. And I also have a um, battery pack that is also able to be recharged via solar, so that's really convenient. And then my face towel that I'm currently using also sits here. Um, paper towels is hung up via these, uh, what are these called? Parachute cables. No, paracord. That's what they're called. Uh, all right. So underneath I have this cup that I use for oatmeal in the morning because I used to use a bowl, but heat would leak and it just would not cook the oatmeal even if it was instant. I have a mirror, can opener. Uh, a lighter and then there's also an extra lighter back there too but you can't see it and uh, then i have a little measuring cup for the rice cooker these are my water jugs this is a three gallon this is a four gallon so i have a total of seven gallons do the math uh and that usually lasts me a while i honestly don't need seven gallons because i'm usually near a town but it's just nice to have extra water just in case all right all right so in the little corner here i have water bottle for brushing my teeth at night um another pair of gloves back there uh, right here is where i keep my broom because in the desert it gets really dusty and i just like to sweep off the uh, tailgate here just so I can sit on it or whatever. Uh, I have dish soap. I usually clean with um, sanitary wipes, but that's just in case things get a little too greasy. And down here, back here, I have extra utensils in this bag. Um, another water bottle. Uh, this is my camp chair also have clorox wipes also have a citronella citronella jesus citronella candle to keep away the bugs i'm not sure if these work but you know it smells nice so i have the propane that i'm currently using uh this is my toothbrush bag uh, toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash stuff like that back here um this is is where i keep my cutting board um this just keeps it out of the way and this is my dry pantry um this was a recent addition along with my sleeping platform um, just creates more storage underneath On this side, I have my knife. I just keep it rolled up in this towel because it doesn't have a guard on it. And I just don't want a knife to just be flying around. Bread that I need to re-up and bag extra onion and garlic because those don't need to be refrigerated. In this little corner here, I call it my coffee corner. So I have my collapsible electric kettle. It's this is actually the reason why I opted for the Jackery 1000. It's, or it takes 700 watts to get it to work. And I just couldn't be bothered with boiling water on the stove every morning for coffee or oatmeal or whatever. So this was a great investment along with the Jackery. Uh, I also have 
coffee bag here. Um, I use instant coffee, and this is just the brand I'm currently using. It's it's Asian. It's three in one. There's milk, sugar, but I also add in creamer because I don't like to drink just straight up black coffee anymore. And then this is my machete. Uh, keep it here, just in case somebody wants to get silly. I can get hilarious. And there's also trash bags down here. And that is it for that corner. All right, so let's go to back in here. So this is not my main pillow. That's just storage for extra hoodies or pants, stuff like that. Um, behind it is the hoodie or behind it is the pillow itself, but it just stays there when I'm not sleeping. Uh, this is a curtain that I got of Amazon, it's just for privacy purposes at night. Uh, I forgot. That is a just my little light. I used to have fairy lights up here, but uh, they were blue and they were really harsh, so I got rid of them and got that for nighttime. Um, and this is my bed. This is just a simple platform. It's almost three quarter inch supported by two by fours. Uh, when I was in Albuquerque, a friend of mine helped me build it. And by help me, I just, uh, he built the entire thing and I just stood there and looked pretty. Uh, underneath, this is the reflectix for my rear window. It just stays there when I don't use it. Um, I have a fitness foam pad for extra cushioning. And then my mattress is just an Ikea toddler mattress. Uh, it, I think it's about 63 inches. Um, it's a couple of inches short because I am 5'5". Five five, but it doesn't bother me all that much. But it's pretty comfortable. Um, I also have my sleeping bag here. Uh, on the inside, there's also a fleece blanket and then this uh, other blanket on top because it gets pretty cold out here. I'm in southern New Mexico right now and it's been pretty cold, like under 20 degrees at night. So triple layers just help me stay warm because I am a tropical Asian boy and I do not like to be cold. Oh, also there's that, my camp table. So he just stays here or like right here whenever I'm driving um, just to have it safe and be out of the way. All right, so that about does it for the tour. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!